Hey, I'm Chris Hayes here from Sentinel. How's it been going? How's it been going for you since the trade and all of your transition with the Celtics? It was fine, thank you. Uh, it's just the the you know the COVID protocol was not helping, but I'm gonna you know I'm I'm, I'm finally available to play, and uh, you know I'm uh, I'm just really excited. Keith Smith. Hey, Evan, did you have a chance to talk to uh, Vincent Poirier at all about what it's like to be with the Celtics and play for Brad Stevens? That's the first thing I did, yes, but uh, more so than, than basketball, it was more about, you know, the city, the fans, uh, the restaurants, and et cetera. So he only had a great thing to say. Gary Washburn. Hey, Evan, uh, two questions here. What – what was the last couple of weeks like? It, it was obvious that guys were probably talking about you, Aaron, and Nicola talking about, okay, who's going to be first to go. So what was that process like? And what, what was your first reaction to being traded to the Celtics? And secondly, can you just explain for all fans why you're wearing number 94? Well, the process of, uh, you know, those, those last couple of weeks, really, uh, I was just focused on, I was just focused on winning games with the Magic. Um, just trying to play at a very high level, trying to block out all the noise. And, uh, you know, I had some some good games. So I think it showed that I was really able to just focus on on basketball and not rumors. And, uh, you know, you can't you can't waste energy and spend energy on things you can't control. So uh, as long as I was a, a, a Magic player, I was going to focus on that. And once I heard about the, you know, the trade, I was obviously really excited. And, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, it's a bit of a shock because uh, – I mean, you never know if it's going to happen or not. Obviously, there were rumors, but um, when you spend seven years in one place, you know, it's it's, uh, it's a little bit shocking at first, but, you know, once it settles in, you know, you can reflect on your situation. And uh, like I said, you know, it's, uh, it's a great opportunity for me. Adam Himmelsbach. Evan, when you look at this team, uh, what do you think uh, about your skills will complement it? And how do you think you'll be a helpful asset to this group? Well, I think one of the, the best things about my game is, I, you know, I'm able to, uh, to do a lot of things I can, uh, I can handle, I can pass. Uh, you know, you can run, run me off screens and pin down. So it's, it's, it's really going to be about how can I fit with, you know, uh, the other guys. So, you know, I'm, I'm obviously learning the system and uh, I'm going to try to be myself, but obviously try to adapt to what guys are doing on the floor. So, uh, uh, I mean, we'll see starting tonight. Nicholas Kohlheber. Hi, Evan. Uh, Danny Hange told speak about a uh, long time uh, about you. What do you think about that? Are you French? Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, can you repeat your question? Sorry. Danny Hange uh, say I cared you uh, thinking about the long term. Uh -huh. uh, what do you think about it? Uh, is it something you're looking also? I mean, uh, obviously yes, but I, I mean, it's it's that's that's not my focus at all. To be honest, my focus right now is just to uh, to uh, le learn the plays, le learn you know uh, how to play with my teammates and win games. I mean, obviously you know if I can uh, have success here and, and and help the team win and, and and have an impact on winning, but you know that's that's uh, that's too forward. Like uh, you know, I like to stay in, a, in 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 the present, stay in the moment, and uh, you know I'm just trying to help help the team win tonight. Final question for Evan, Chris Ryan. Go ahead, Chris. All right, we'll go to Mark D'Amico. Hey, Evan, I know you touched on the last few days of being in the COVID protocol, but what exactly happened that prevented you from being able to join the team earlier? And then what were you able to do over the last few days to, to maybe learn a little bit about the system before tonight's game? Well, to be honest, uh, uh, so I had like every other guy, just a bunch of, of, of tests every day. And uh, I think it was the day of uh, the day of the game in uh, Oklahoma City. I had a test in Boston and uh, that was a, you know, a positive test. So uh, I entered the protocol. I had a test, uh, like a couple of tests following the same day. Uh, the results were all negative. I had another test yesterday. Everything was negative. So. You know, the doctor called me. He said my, my levels were actually very low on, on my positive test. And, and so sometimes it happens. So it might be just a false one. And that was the case. So uh, 
I'm glad it's over because that that was not the best timing for you know that to happen uh, with you know me just uh, just getting traded. So I'm glad it's over.